Coming up next, Fresh Dew with Pastor Nkechi Ene. And welcome to Fresh Dew. I am Pastor Nkechi Ene, and it's always my pleasure to be with you on every single episode of Fresh Dew. Fresh Dew is a program that is designed just for you. It's designed to build you up and to give you fresh inspiration and direction for your life. Today on Fresh Dew, we're starting a message series titled All by Faith all by faith so let's settle down let's call people in the house who are not in front of the tv set with us and let's tell them that it's time for fresh dew you're watching fresh dew all by faith all by faith and our text was from hebrews chapter 11. And I like to call this chapter in the Bible the most victorious chapter in the Word of God. That's my definition of Hebrews chapter 11, the most victorious chapter in the Word of God. And there are two words we're going to see consistent through this chapter of victory. And those two words are the words by faith, by faith, by faith. So we see victories were won by people by faith. And I'm here to tell you, child of God, that there is no victory you cannot achieve in your life without faith you can achieve all the victories you need by faith so let's look at hebrews 11 and i'll just pick out some of these verses where we see those words by faith hebrews 11 and verse 1 now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen for by it the elders obtained a good testimony verse 3 by faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of god so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible verse 4 by faith abel offered to god a more excellent sacrifice than cain through which he obtained witness that he was righteous god testifying of his gifts and through it he being dead still speaks verse 5 by faith enoch was taken away so that he did not see death and was not found because god had taken him for before he was taken he had this testimony that he pleased god but without faith it is impossible to please him for he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Verse 7, by faith, Noah, being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his household, by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is according to faith. Verse 8, by faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive as an inheritance. And he went out not knowing where he was going. Verse 9, by faith, he dwelt in a land of promise as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. Verse 11, by faith, Sarah, who was barren herself, also received strength to conceive seed. And she bore a child when she was past the age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Verse 17, by faith, Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac. And he who had received the promises offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said, in Isaac, your seed shall be called, concluding that God was able to raise him up even from the dead, from which he also received him in a figurative sense. Verse 20, by faith. Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. 21, by faith, Jacob, when he was dying, blessed each of the sons of Joseph and worshipped, leaning on the top of his staff. 22, by faith, Joseph, when he was dying, made mention 
of the departure of the children of Israel and gave instructions concerning his bones. 23, by faith, Moses, when he was born, was hidden three months by his parents because they saw he was a beautiful child and they were not afraid of the king's command. Verse 24, by faith, Moses, when he became of age, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. 27, by faith, he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible 28 by faith he kept the passover and the sprinkling of blood lest he who destroyed the firstborn should touch them 29 by faith they passed through the red sea as by dry land whereas the egyptians attempting to do so were drowned 30 by faith the walls of jericho fell down after they were encircled for seven days 31 by faith the harlot Rahab did not perish with those who did not believe when she received the spies with peace. 32. And what more shall I say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah, also of David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weaknesses were made strong, became valiant in battle, turned to fly the armies of the aliens, and so on and so forth. Glory be to God. So you can see it's all by faith. By faith this happened, and by faith that happened. So we can begin to say this. This has, this has shown us that faith should be the foremost factor in the life of every believer. I really wish you are writing as you are watching. Faith should be the foremost factor in the life of a believer. Or we can say this, that faith should be the working substance or the active ingredient in the life of of every believer i want to say it again faith should be the working substance faith should be the active ingredient faith should be the foremost factor in the life of every believer if you want to walk in victory and you want to enjoy the victory you need to know that it's all by faith you need to know that it's all by faith let me throw a few more scriptures at you showing that it's all by faith for you as a believer. Romans 1.17 tells us that the just shall live by faith. You see that? Live by faith. Romans 5.2 tells us that we have access by faith into the grace of God. We'll look at that later. Access by faith, by faith again, into the grace of God. Romans 11.20 tells us that we stand by faith. We stand by faith. We live by faith. We have access into the abundance grace of God by faith. We stand by faith. 2 Corinthians 5.17 tells us that we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. Galatians 2.20 again tells us that we live by faith. In fact, I want to read the whole Galatians 2.20. It says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. And this faith we're talking about is the God kind of faith. So it's not a kind of faith that is, you know, just a natural faith. We're talking about supernatural faith, the God kind of faith. And this faith should be the foremost factor, the uppermost ingredient in the life of every believer. So how does this faith come? Romans 10, 17 tells us faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing by the word of God. And in the weeks to come, we're going to be talking about faith. And I believe that as we talk about faith, we talk about faith. Faith is going to grow on the inside of you and you will experience the victory in many areas of your life. Glory be to God. And I hope somebody said amen. So it's all by faith. It's all by faith. Hebrews 11, 1 again says faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So let me let, let me um, say the first thing I really want to say now, the very first point in this message, all of that was the introduction. The very first point is this. Number one, faith has been tried and tested. Say that with me. Faith has been tried and tested. If you're watching, say it with me. Faith has been tried and tested. Faith has been tried and tested. How do we know that? Well, we just read through the whole of Hebrews 11, through the generations that had passed. It says, by faith this happened, and by faith that happened. Let me say this to you. There is no inventor or there is no manufacturer who is going to 
good inventor and good manufacturer who is going to release a new product on the market if he hasn't first tried and tested that product. So, for example, Mercedes-Benz is building a new kind of car. Mercedes-Benz has been building cars for a very long time, but a new model of Mercedes-Benz is coming out. They're not just going to release that car once it goes from the drawing board straight into the factory. No, when the first one or two are produced, they're going to put that car or those cars through tremendous tests. They're going to hit it against different kinds of things. They're going to simulate accidents in the car. They're going to do all kinds of things to test the safety, to test the mechanics, to test the speed of that car. And it is only when they are satisfied with the testing of that car that they release that car onto the market glory be to god same thing with new medicines and new drugs a proper pharmaceutical company is not just going to bring out a drug and release it just like that on people they're going to take it into the lab and they're going to try it on mice and try it on rats and try it on 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 squirrels and try it on all kinds of animals and eventually whether you know it or not they're going to try it on human beings for a period of time and then they're going to say this drug now works and we can release this drug well i'm here to tell you that if man knows to do that then god almighty who created man knows that as well and the faith that you have child of god that faith has been tried and tested glory be to god it has been tried and tested and the very first person we saw in the word of god who used that kind of faith was god himself when he said let there be when he spoke forth the word of god and we found out that it worked he knew already but we can look back and we can see that Faith works. Glory be to God. We can see that faith works. This faith has been tried and tested. It has been tried and tested by Abraham. It has been tried and tested by crazy Noah who built an ark when nobody believed that he had heard from God. It has been tried and tested by Baron Sarah whom everybody had given up on. It has been tried and tested by Harlot Rahab who found herself through faith in the genealogy of Jesus. It has been tried and tested. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And that is is the faith that is yours now to work with so we shouldn't approach faith the way you know a lot of believers approach faith some of us we you know we, we got born again and we heard about faith and you know we hear about faith with fear and trepidation oh this faith they say i have to have faith if i'm going to be healed or they say i have to have faith if i'm going to get a job how will i have this faith how am i going to have this faith will this faith work for me it will work for you because god is no respecter of persons if you're listening to the true undiluted word of god and you're practicing the word of god i'm here to tell you that this kind of faith we're talking about is failure proof I want to say it again. This kind of faith we're talking about is failure proof. But this faith does not operate where there is fear. So if you approach the whole concept of faith with fear and trepidation, will it work for me? Do I have enough faith? And we're going to deal with that again later in the course of this message. Do I have enough faith? Uh, am I good enough? Or have I been born again long enough to walk by faith listen to me child of god the bible says we live by faith the just shall live by faith that's the only qualification the just who are the just the righteous who are the righteous those who have accepted jesus christ as their lord and savior and the great exchange has taken place and they have received of the righteousness of god in christ jesus so if you have done that if you are born again you are the just and the bible says what should be no normal and natural for you is for you to live by faith not just by any kind of faith but the god kind of faith exactly the same way you take in oxygen and you breathe and all the while i've been preaching i've been breathing but it's so second nature to me to breathe that i don't stop in the middle of my message <gasps> to breathe and then i continue talking and i stop <gasps> to breathe no i'm breathing it comes second nature to me well child of god if you are just and if you're born again god wants you to develop yourself in the word of god so that Faith becomes second nature to you. Nay, faith becomes first nature to you. Glory be to God. Faith becomes a way of life for you. You live by faith. You walk by faith. You access by faith. You stand by faith. You love by faith. You give by faith. You talk by faith. Everything you do is all by faith. So this faith we're talking about is something that has been tried and tested. And you can rest 
your confidence in the God kind of faith. Look at that verse again in Hebrews 11, 1. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence, look at those two words, the substance. Before something is going to be called substance and evidence, it must have been tried and tested and proved. The substance, and that word substance is a word that means a setting under confidence that's what it means a setting under confidence assurance support a setting under confidence assurance support that's that word substance and that word substance or the word substance in the dictionary is a word that means listen to this i love this the quality of being dependable or stable glory be to god the quality of being dependable or stable so the god kind of faith which is the kind of faith that jesus says we have that god kind of faith is dependable and stable that god kind of faith is the kind of faith that we can rest our confidence and our assurance on we can support every area of our lives on this God kind of faith. We can take our children and the support under our children would be the God kind of faith. And we have the confidence that our children are okay. We can take our finances and the support under our finances is the God kind of faith. And we have the confidence that our finances are okay. Hey, we can take our healing and our health and the support under our healing and our health is the God kind of faith. And we have that confidence. We can take our marriage and put our marriage and support it with the God kind of faith and we have the confidence glory be to God that this kind of faith will support every single area of our lives it's all by faith child of God it's all by faith look at the word look at the word evidence that word evidence is the word proof is the word conviction look at look at it from the dictionary it's the available body of facts or information indicating whether a belief or proposition is true or valid. Point is, evidence is proof, is conviction. Faith is the substance. Faith is the evidence. You can rely on the God kind of faith. Look at the second thing about faith we're, we're going to look at today. Faith operates in the present tense. And this is one area where a lot of believers trip up. So I want to I wanna say this again. Faith operates in the present tense. We said first that this faith has been tried and tested. You can depend on it. Well, now, child of God, listen to this. Faith operates in the present tense. The Bible says again in Hebrews 11, 1, now faith is. Now. What does now mean? Now means now. Now faith is. Now faith is. Well, somebody who's been studying the original text of the Bible wants to say to me, well, Pastor Nkechi, that word now, you know, was not in the original text of the Bible. Yes, we know that. So if now makes you uncomfortable, table let's take now away and let's read that verse of scripture again and let's say faith is well i tell you that's still the present tense faith is not faith was not faith will be but faith is faith is now now faith is why don't you say that after me faith is now now faith is yes i said say it after me faith is now and now faith is Faith isn't yesterday. Faith isn't tomorrow. Faith is now. Faith operates in the present tense. There's an expression I find believers saying a lot. Oh, I believe one day God will heal me. Or in God's own good time, he will heal me. Or God will help me when he's good and ready. No, no. Listen, 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 listen. God says, God says, he says, I am that I am. That's who I am. He said, my name is is I am that I am. He didn't say my name was I was that I was. He didn't say my name is I will be that I will be. No, he said my name is I am that I am. That is so simple. I am that I am. Now, he's the God who was and is and is to come. So he could have told us that his name is I was that I was. I have three names. I was that I was. When Moses asked him, he could have said, okay, tell them I was that I was sent you and that I am that I am sent you and that I will be that I will be sent you because really he was, he is, and he will be. But he told us that his name is I am that I am. Listen to me, child of God. Yesterday at that time, he was I am. Today, he is I am. And tomorrow in your life, he will be I am. At this time tomorrow, that will be now. And that will be today at this time tomorrow. When we are in tomorrow, we will be in a new today. And in that today, God will be I am. So God says to us, 
I am that I am. So when you are operating by faith, you're operating in the present tense. You believe that you have received it. You believe that it is now. You believe that it is settled. Somebody says, well, what if I don't see it? Well, remember what we read in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, which we're going to look at next week. We walk by faith, not by sight. That's the whole point. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of what you cannot see, but you know it has taken place. You know it is now you know it's been done in the spirit realm and therefore you profess it as is right now faith operates in the present tense no wonder the no wonder jesus said in mark 11 that you believe when you pray it is when you pray that you believe you receive you don't pray and then try to get yourself to believe no at the time you pray if you don't believe there's really no point praying let me say it again if you don't believe there's really no point praying but when you pray you believe because faith is now and faith operates in the present tense glory be to God. It's all by faith. Your victory is by faith. Your healing is possible by faith. Your finances can be turned around by faith. That job you're trusting him for, you can get it by faith. That husband you're believing him for, you can get him or get her by faith. It's all by faith it's all by faith and faith should be second nature no like i said earlier first nature to every believer thank you father for your word thank you for this series all by faith thank you father we give you praise lord i believe that faith has come like a flood into the hearts of everyone who's who has listened to this message thank you father thank you father thank you father Are you alive but not really living life? Do you know somewhere deep down that something needs to change in the course of your life? Does it feel like you have lost your way in life? Yet to others you seem to know your way. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. Can you believe that somewhere on the inside of you? Do you believe it? He is the answer to every question and he loves you just the way you are. Today he's waiting for you with arms open wide and he wants you just the way you are. Will you make a decision today to surrender your life to him and run into those outstretched arms? If you want to do that, say this prayer out loud meaning it from the depth of your heart and you will be saved. Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I believe you are the Son of God and that you died for me and rose again just to save me. Come into my heart and make me brand new. As you have promised I will live for you all the days of my life in your name I pray amen amen and amen congratulations on taking the most important decision of your life you are now born again and a brand new person it has all happened on the inside of you now you need to grow in your new faith and what has happened on the inside will surely be reflected in your everyday life we can help you grow in your new faith please call us at 0700 fresh dew or email us at saved at freshdew.tv and we'll be here for you Come with us as we expand our circle. Come, let us conquer new grounds together. Let us reach for greater heights together. Share the vision, share the provision, and share the blessings. Come.
Become a partner today. Here's how to join the Fresh Dew Partnership Circle. Go to freshdew.tv, register, and that's it. You become a partner. Financial partners can make deposits at any Diamond Bank branch nationwide. The Fresh Dew account number is 000212090. Visit freshdew.tv or call 0700 Freshdew for more details.